we are a community in itself here. The moment we welcome residents in our facility, they're like family to us. So we, as management, may recognize that the staff are really essential to them, even though they're isolated, like how they care for them, how they, their attitude towards providing cares and all of that. That's why when adaptive care residents were homebound for health and safety reasons, the staff devised a plan to entertain their seniors. I posted uh, a call for action from the community to different um, groups or forums on online. So we receive letters, so just a simple grid, uh, greetings to uplift, uh, uplift our seniors. With the support of Florado and help from the community, Abelina is hoping to gain momentum by collecting more letters, performances, and artwork. We are continually asking the community to send out letters, um, cards, to just make our residents be happy and making sure that people from the outside world are checking on them, wishing them um, good health and be strong. And also, we want the community to step up. I know there's a lot of creative performers out there. I'm still waiting for performers to come outside this facility to perform and we can have our residents look from the second floor and watch them. For Bridge City News, I'm Loris Alexander.